Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Luke McLaughlin and welcome to Alation's AI Readiness Demo. We hope at the end of today's demonstration, you'll have a better understanding of how Alation helps to enable AI readiness for organizations. With the massive interest and investment in AI, AI readiness has become a business imperative. Organizations need to strike that delicate balance between fast experimentation for that competitive advantage whilst ensuring that AI initiatives are using trusted and well-governed data. At the core of all successful AI initiatives is governed, trusted, and accurate data. The classic issue of garbage data in, garbage data out is exacerbated with the use of AI because no longer is it just a case of, oh well, a couple of my KPIs in my executive dashboards are being inconsistently calculated, it's Oh no, our company is dealing with a reputational crisis because our AI chatbot started leaking sensitive data that it was trained on inadvertently and now we're at risk of huge fines. And look, this is where Alation comes in. Alation helps organizations to wrap good governance around not just their own AI initiatives, but also helps to govern the use of off-the-shelf AI products and features across your organization. Let's start by taking a look at how we use Alation's flexible document hub templates to create AI model cards. On these AI model cards, that's where we'll start capturing the who, what, where, and how of each AI product in use across our organization. Then we'll start linking our AI model card to related assets in our catalog, such as policies, risks, and controls. Importantly, the data inputs and outputs for the model and the lineage of those data inputs and outputs. So we can check via the lineage, hey, what is the quality of the data I'm feeding into my models? And also, am I feeding any sensitive data into my models? We'll run through that in our demonstration today. Great, let's jump into Alation now and take a look at those AI model cards in action. I'm gonna take on the persona of a data governance manager working for a fictional organization called Acme Bank. So I need to understand what are the different AI products and features we've enabled across our enterprise to date. Let's open up my catalog here and open up my AI data products for Acme Bank. So I can see here that I've got four different AI products or services that we've enabled across our enterprise. I can quickly at a glance see what they are, you know, ML, Gen AI, different types of AI, if they're in production or if they're in development. I can also see, are these just AI features that are embedded into existing platforms we use day to day like Alation, or are they in-house developed AI capabilities like our loan buddy AI? We'll take a look at that later. Let's first of all take a look at this Alation auto titling lexicon model card. This gives me so much context as a data governance manager. It gives me a really clear description about what is this AI feature? What does it do? Where does it reside and who's using it? So here I can see this auto tiling feature basically takes the technical, technical names of tables, schemas, and columns like cust account and expands that to customer account, a much more business friendly title that is much more easily searchable and discoverable across my data catalog. That seems like a really useful feature. So I totally understand why we've enabled this in our Alation instance. I've got great documentation here around what type of machine learning it is, what type of model it's using, and what type of modality it is. And this varies, obviously, depending on if it's a machine learning model, an LLM, or any other type of AI. The template is very flexible. On the right-hand side here, I can see some really critical information. I can see our ownership, so I can see our SMEs, technical owners, and potentially stewards as well. I can also see what governance is in place. So what type of AI this is, what model version it is, you know, is it in production, training, testing, or decommissioned? And very importantly, which data governance policies haven't been applied to this model card? So in this case, we're trying to make sure that no sensitive data is being fed into our models here. So we've attached our data security policy. Great to see that. Scrolling down a little bit further, this is where we start to see some of the technical details of our model. I've got my link to my technical asset here. I've got, importantly, 
what are the training data sets that this machine learning model is reliant on? I've also taken the time to capture a whole bunch of key design considerations around the risks and controls that are being used to govern this model. So importantly here we can see uh, risk 26 around use of sensitive data in our AI models. That's a high risk, that's a bit of concern. So I can see that here, but I can also see very clearly I've got three separate controls that are in place to help mitigate this. And I can of course click through and view these records if I wanted to, to get the full lowdown on what is this risk, how is it being used, how is it being controlled. I've also got ethical concerns and quantitative analysis documented here as well. This kind of talks to the flexibility of relation in terms of being able to capture and relate all this inf information together against our AI model cards to give us all that clear context and confidence that our AI products and features are being well governed. Let's go take a look at the technical model itself so we can understand the lineage of the assets as well, because that's really important. So, clicking on lineage, let's make this full screen. Here, I can see this is our auto titling lexicon feature. I can expand it up so I can actually see the columns as well. Here I can see that we grab column names out of tables and schemas, put them into our model, then we process them and we output these business friendly titles into our underlying Rose Meta database. So that's giving me a really clear picture of how data is fed into our model and pushed out into the product elsewhere. So I've got a really clear understanding of how this model is used and governed across my enterprise. Now, let's pivot and change personas. I'm gonna take on the role of a data scientist that wants to understand what data is available to me to build into my new AI products or services. Now, as a data scientist for the bank, I've been tasked with developing a new AI model that looks at the previous loans we've issued to customers and make recommendations to the customers about other products or services we could be offering them. So for this task, I'm definitely going to need a data set that talks to what were the loans we issued to customers in the past. So let's take advantage of Alation's natural language search and the auto titling function to search for data easily across the catalog. So uh, show me some uh, loan decision data. And boom, out of thousands of results, we've instantly got at the top of the list exactly the kind of table I was looking for. This clearly contains a whole bunch of data about what decisions we've made in the past for different loan applications. So that's exactly what I want. Of course, I could go and filter down the search results, but Alation's natural language search has done an amazing job and got the right result to the top of the list first attempt. Awesome, let's go and take a look at that now. Cool, so first of all, I'm getting a lot of context out the gate here. This is clearly the credit decisioning features table. And I can see from the breadcrumbs that it's in our loan schema on our data lake. And I've got two endorsements up here. So that's a really good hint already that this is a trusted data asset. No deprecation warnings, only two endorsements. So this is a data asset that other colleagues of mine trust as well. I can also see who owns the data asset, the stewards, and the top users. The top users is something I love in particular because it's automatic automatically populated by Alation and gives me a hint as to who uses this data set day in, day out and who are probably the SMEs in my business. So if I had any additional questions that this page didn't answer, I could probably reach out to some of those using Alation's collaborative conversations tool to ask them additional clarifying questions. But let's dig into the data set a little bit more first. Let's take a look at the sample content here. And oh, okay, straight away I'm already seeing that some of these columns have got data masking rules applied to them at the data lake level. So I'm already getting a hint that there may be some sensitive data in this table. Let's go ahead and take a look at our data help. So from a data quality perspective, we've got a number of rules being run on here. I can see that there's a little bit of concern that the customer ID is not as unique as it probably should be given it's an ID. And, but age and balance columns look like they're all good. I can also see that there's some upstream issues as well. I can click through and understand, okay, well, what's going on with this funds transfer bronze table? 
I can click on the warning here and go, oh, okay, so there was a data refresh issue and the data as of last week um, may be out of date. But looks like they've got a fix planned for next weekend and I've even got a link to the Jira ticket. So that's really easy for me to understand. Now, given this is really early on in my discovery, you know what? The data being slightly less fresh than it needs to be is probably okay. I can continue considering to use this particular data set. Let's jump back to that table, credit decisioning features. Let's now take a look at our lineage. First, I'm gonna turn on compound layout and I'm gonna go full screen and I'm gonna turn on our business titles. So much more complicated lineage diagram this time around because we're looking at our data lake and our data lake has a full medallion architecture set up. So I can see how things like our customer table goes from customer gold, customer silver, customer bronze, and goes back into our Salesforce CRM here. Now, if I expand this table here so I can see the columns, let's look at some of our metadata overlays. And I wanna check this time our PI classifications. I wanna make sure there is no sensitive data in this table before I start using it in my AI models. And look at that. Okay, this is a bit of a worry. We actually have some verified uh, personal information in these data sets here. I've got a nice visual indication of that. I can actually see the customer ID here in particular is verified as being personal information. Now, if I wanted to understand where that was coming from, I could request a lineage trace at the column level on customer ID to understand where that's used across our enterprise. And here I can see used in our credit decision table, goes back through our medallion architecture and all the way back to our account table in the Salesforce CRM. So that's given me a huge amount of context already that, okay, this data set, whilst it looks like it's a really good fit, it's trusted by others, as we saw by those trust flags, there's also some concerns because there are some sensitive data in this data set that I need to be really conscious about if I do decide to use this data set in building and training my AI model. Great. Now we understand just how critical it is to find and understand the data being fed into your AI models. We saw how Alation makes it effortless for data scientists to locate the right data using intuitive natural language searches and quickly gain a comprehensive view of its sensitivity and quality long before it's ever loaded it into any AI models. Now, our data governance managers can feel confident that their teams are working with trusted and well-governed data. With Alation's AI model cards, tracking compliance, and risk mitigations, Alation ensures that AI initiatives meet regulatory requirements. Ultimately, Alation empowers organizations to use AI responsibly, building trust across the business and with external stakeholders. Because when you can trust the data that fuels your AI, your organization can truly innovate with confidence.